Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, you guys snuck up on me there. Uh, very cool. I'm glad everyone's here. Some people are already on, which is incredible. Uh, how you guys doing today? I'm kind of uh, doing all right. Uh, to be honest, though, I do have a bit of a uh, back issue, so I'm trying to stretch it out. And, uh, you know, that's kind of a bummer, you know? You don't want to get old and decrepit. So my back's a little stiff today, but uh, what's up, Logan Rose? Eureka420, hello. Dan, yeah, Dan Rosalie, Herptile Haven, good to see you back. Mikey, what's up, what's up? Uh, yeah, man, uh, thanks for watching, Yosinel Bauta. I appreciate that. Uh, we're hanging out today in the front yard. We're gonna do a live video today. Um, yeah, my back will be all right. Although I did just get up a little too fast, so whoo, I got a little dizzy. Give me a second while I uh, recompose myself. Yeah, man, I was just doing a single leg squats this morning at the gym, starting my workout. I don't think I warmed up enough. So I got a little tweak in the back, so I just called it right there and said, yeah, I'll give the back a rest. Uh, all right, man, as you can see, we are out here and uh, bam, we're hanging out in the front. So it's pretty rad. We got the good old, uh, we got our boots over there, but we also have the Wi-Fi extender. And uh, I think we'll be able to do some pretty fun stuff. Millie Mermaid XS. Uh, thanks for all the hearts, kid. Uh, what's up, Karen Edwards? Mo Gaiman, Tur Toll, love you too. Uh, we're just looking at the uh, good old, the good old fish pond here, everyone. Uh, it's pretty rad. I have a little trap set up in here because I've been catching fish that I no longer want in the pond. I've got too many guppies and I got something called Mayan cichlids, which breed like crazy. And I've been, I got the adults out and I've been getting all the little offspring out before they get too big. And uh, fair warning, uh, I do feed some of these babies, uh, with some fish rather, to the uh, Chinese box turtle. So I uh, hope you guys aren't upset by that, but uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we got any of them. Ah, oh, we do, we got one. We got one in there. Um, so I'm gonna take him out while I got everybody on. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know, you get one. This is what a baby Mayan cichlid looks like. And uh, they, I got them because, or I had them in my pond. And when I first got this pond, I wanted a fish, some kind of fish before I got my African cichlids. So this is it right there. That's a Mayan cichlid. These guys reproduce like crazy. There's one swimming down in the pond. Live, they live in the rocks. So I got the Oscars to eat them. I got the, uh, I also had the Malawi eye biters to eat them as well. And they've definitely been putting a dent on the, uh, you know, on the population, on the fish population, which is good. But over here is where the, look at, there's a Chinese box turtle right there. And so what I do is I just give them a little offering and they, these guys will eat the fish, but we don't need to see that. We know what it's like when a fish uh, gets eaten. Um, so the, those turtles will find it out. So it's the cycle of life here in the front yard. But let's go on over here, man. I got uh, some baby sulcatas. So I was talking about little tortoises. Let's talk a little bit about sulcatas. Uh, we're live so I can answer any sulcata questions you guys may have. Uh, so I threw the uh, 29 of these little guys. That's all I have left is 29 little sulcata tortoises. They are for sale. I'll talk more about that later. But right now, let's talk about uh, keeping your sulcata tortoises happy and healthy. So you see all these little weeds, uh, you know, they love them. They love to nibble on them. They're nibbling on the grass. You can kind of see that this is a really cool um, kind of outdoor playpen for sulcatas. There's so many in here right now, and they're really, really cool. Uh, so I saw a couple of questions about sulcatas already. They are the third largest uh, continental, uh, the third largest tortoise species and the largest continental tortoise species, Garrett reptiles. And um, they are fantastic, but they do get big. So they're not for everybody. These tortoises uh, can become too much to handle for some people. Uh, that being said, they are fantastic little tortoises. Uh, you can kind of see them milling about, getting some natural sun. Uh, also, you know, as far as being a tortoise, you're looking in about 10 years. If these tortoises are doing well, these tortoises are going to be close to 100 pounds in about 10 years. And if it is a male tortoise, it could reach upwards of 120 pounds. There have been reports of sulcatas reaching 250 pounds. And I've seen some of those big tortoises 
uh, at Bob Bloom's place. He's got some really big animals. Uh, but here they all are. They're just kind of, it's so funny. They all wind up crowding into the corners. You see that? So funny. Uh, I just want to also give a shout out to uh, Chase Scott. Thank you so much for appreciating the show. We appreciate that donation of $10. Thank you, Chase. I, I really just, I, I'm always floored, man, when people do that. Uh, Cole Jacobson, $1.99. Uh, thank you so much. He asks, is prickly pear fruit for sulcata hatchlings okay? Yes. Um, I've got some prickly pear right there. Um, I've got spineless variety, which these guys love to eat. So it's pretty good. It's good stuff. Uh, the best thing you can do for your tortoises if you live in an area where you can keep them outdoors is to keep them outside. Uh, these guys will definitely appreciate that. So there are some sulcatas walking around here, but they're eating this whole mixture. As soon as I put them in earlier, they just went to town and they started eating everything in here, which is always fantastic. Jen Eaton, how you doing? Uh, these guys here, are um, about two and a half to three months old. Um, some are larger than others, like this little dude. You can see just how big he is. He's in my arm there. Uh, what's up, Christopher Lang? Love you too. Thanks so much for the $2 donation. Uh, these guys are still kind of small, but their yolk sacs have been absorbed and they're eating and doing well, uh, moving about. You always want to make sure your tortoises are moving around. You can see them exploring. Here's another little guy. Uh, they're exploring and doing their thing. So what I like to do with my baby tortoises, I like to get them outdoors. I have those Zoomed um, tortoise houses, which are great because they have a really cool, um, they've got a really cool lid that has a screen similar to this to where no predators can get in. Now, I'm watching over these little ones as we do the live. I'm not too worried about predators right now, but tonight I will bring these animals back into their uh, Zoomed tortoise house. Um, these guys here are, um, you know, they're eating, they're moving around. I'm feeding them the collard green, romaines. They're eating escarole, shredded carrots. I'm um, also feeding them the cactus pads, these natural um, grasses and weeds they'll get to nibble on. They're also eating a little bit of watermelon to keep them hydrated. I soak them two times a week. Um, so when you have this many babies, it's a lot of work, but it's a fun job. Uh, so I'm offering these guys for sale for $65. I'm going to keep them at $65. Um, they were 80. I dropped the price down to 65 last week and a lot of folks jumped on them. Uh, so they picked them up. Uh, if you are interested in one of these tortoises, they are 65 plus shipping. Shipping is $75 west of the Mississippi and $65 east of the Mississippi, $45 in Florida, and that's next day shipping, okay? Uh, get your pen and paper ready because if you want to order one, just go ahead and send me an email to campkennon at gmail.com. So there are the little baby sulcatas. Um, I like getting these guys outdoors, as I mentioned, but be aware they will grow big, man. It is very important. So, uh, you know, you want to make sure that you can uh, keep these guys outside. They will get big. If you live in New York or someplace up north where we have cold winters, not the tortoise for you. Uh, hey, what's up, Alex from Sweden? And earlier, one of my donors asked what, uh, how big a horsefield tortoise gets. Uh, my goodness, they only get about eight inches long, straight line. They are a small species from the steppes of Central Asia. So there you go. But look at these little dudes moving around. Uh, from small tortoises, let's take a wander and head on over to some large tortoises. Let's go talk about the good old galops. And uh, before we walk over there, let's bring them an offering. Because it's always fun to watch these guys eat. Uh, get some cactus. You see I got some cactus growing right here. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I don't ship overseas, guys. So only the continental United States am I going to be able to get you a baby tortoise, okay? We do have eggs incubating. We have other species that will be available soon. I got some leopard tortoise eggs available. Uh, leopard tortoises will be available in December. Check back. But anyway, guys, here we go. Let's go see what Darwin's doing. Uh, oh, look, everybody is here. Socrates on the left. There is Nostradamus and good old, <laughs> the good old lady there. Darwin, she'll turn around when it's time. Let's squat down and feed these guys while I answer some questions. Uh, let's see, uh, live in Oklahoma, would that be the right tortoise for you, a sulcata? Uh, they're gonna need a heated shelter uh, during the winter. 
Um, I think Oklahoma gets pretty cold. I've been there in the winter. So it might be, if you don't have a heated barn, I would advise against a sulcata tortoise because they're gonna get too big to move in and out easily. Uh, I'd look at maybe some of the Greek tortoise, the uh, Herman's tortoise, uh, any of your Mediterranean tortoises are gonna be a better uh, choice. All right, so there you go. Hi, Darwin, you want something to eat? Come on over here and say hello to everyone. Uh, they are doing awesome. And these will be some of the tortoises that are gonna make the move and head over to the new sanctuary that Kyle and I are building. So more news on that coming very soon. We're getting things, all our ducks in a row, so to speak. Uh, here she is. Uh, UK pounds are coming up less than dollars. I don't mind. It doesn't matter. It's just thought the counts there. Uh, A. Abrahami, I appreciate any help. No worries. Um, appreciate all you guys watching from the UK and abroad. Thank you so much, guys, for being a part of the channel. Uh, just love to do this and love to share these animals and the knowledge uh, that I've learned about them. And the great thing is, is that we're teaching each other because the fun thing about animals is, oh, just when you think you've seen it all, they'll show you something new. So you're always learning here. And that's what I like. I like to always be learning. I'm kind of a guy that's class is always half full. This way, there's always more room uh, from knowledge. What's up, Ebony winning? Winning from the UK. My absolute favorite animal that I own. Hmm. Don't tell anyone, but it's, I don't want to make anyone jealous. Uh, hi, Socks. I was, I was pointing at you. I love Nostradamus. I've had him for a long time, and he's such a cool tortoise. Um, so he's, he's a beautiful animal. I love him. He's so friendly, too, guys. Watch. You can give him a little scratch. And I got to be careful because I'm going to lose a toe if these knuckleheads uh, stomp on me. Let's give them some more cactus, shall we? and answer more questions. This is all animals all the time here. Uh, Latoya Kelly, thank you. Uh, who else? Well, do I recommend keeping a common snapping turtle with an alligator snapper? Uh, I'd be careful, just make sure they're of similar size. Um, sometimes the alley snappers can be a little cantankerous, um, as can the common. So I just watch for any kind of uh, aggression against each two, okay? Uh, Yasno Balta, do I like riding motocross? I used to ride a little bit of motocross. Got a RM125 years ago from my good buddy Travis Pastrana, and I ride a little bit, but um, haven't done it in quite some time. But, you know, I love it. Uh, I love bikes of any kind, whether they have a motor or uh, whether they're pedal power. So I'm a big bicycle fan. Two wheels is fun. That being said, I just like going fast so soon we'll do a video from the racetrack with some of kyle's race cars i think you guys would dig that right just show you something different cars and animals all the time look at this these guys are just really getting up in there to try and get at that cactus i mean Nas is trying to get at that cat look at this he's underneath this big monster uh robo raptor i was born in a in an exotic location i was born in an island far far away an island called long island where people talk funny. They talk a little weird, but uh, they're overall nice people when they order something. What's that drink that you get in the morning time? Look at this, look at that. They like their coffee and uh, tortoises. That's where I come from, Long Island. Uh, anyway, uh, there's, no, there's definitely no table manners here. Just a big girl that wants this cactus. Come on, get it, yeah. Oh my gosh, how funny. Uh, I think Kate likes the tortoises. In fact, if I were to pick a favorite animal of Kate's, um, I would have to say the turtles in the front pond because Kate has become the mother of the pond. She loves sitting out there. She's always feeding the, uh, the pink belly side necks and the Chinese box turtles. She really loves them. Uh, so I think those are her favorites. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's nice when you kind of get people really excited about uh, animals who may not have had the experience with them. So it's fun to see Kate grow more and more um, happy to share her life with these animals. It's really cool. Uh, we haven't had Kate on in a while, man. She's busy right now. She's all officially moved in. She's moved in with the Kidders. And uh, right now she's taking care of some business at the old house. But we gotta get Kate back on. I, I think we need to purdy up the show a little bit. Uh, anyhow. Nostradamus is doing well. I'm going to walk over here. Uh, are the galops both female? Yes, they are, in fact. 
Um, but Nostradamus is a male. I actually did get to see uh, his junk and uh, he showed me he's a boy. It's difficult to find males of the giant tortoises, the Aldabras or Galops. So I'm very happy that I have a male Aldabra because it's easier for us to find females. So what's gonna be nice is when we get to the sanctuary, Kyle is gonna get some uh, big old females and we'll have a boy so that one day we could potentially breed them and uh, that would be just fantastic. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, uh, Molu V C D. Hi, I'm Sam from Manchester, UK. How did I get a hold of my giant tortoises? Okay, well, a long time ago in 2004, I went to the Daytona Reptile Show, and there was a gentleman by the name of Kareem, and he imported from the Seychelles baby Aldabra tortoises. I bought two. Uh, they were expensive, so I um, wound up buying two, and of the two, there is good old Nostradamus. Uh, for one year, we had two here. They were much, much smaller. Uh, hi, Kathy Miller. Thanks for joining the channel. But I was in the middle of a story. Sorry, Kathy. I'm ADD. Anyway, we're back talking about Nostradamus. Uh, Nostradamus had a brother or sister, and unfortunately, we had a cold spell, and it got pneumonia and died, and it was so heartbreaking. Uh, Nostradamus stayed healthy. Um, Sam Piscucci, who is a master of giant tortoises, will, will echo this statement. He believes, as do I, uh, the Aldabras are tortoises that rarely get sick. Um, they're just a very hardy tortoise. However, this young one I had got pneumonia, and by the time I took him to the vet, it was just too late. But the good news is, is that this guy right here, Nostradamus, has done very well. So when he's full grown, he'll be 600 pounds, uh, which is amazing. Now, on to the Galops. Socrates I bought a year later in 2005 from a friend of mine, Jerry Mata. Jerry, you'll see, you will have seen him on the show. He has some crocodiles, and Kyle and I went up with my friend Lonnie McCaskill, and we grabbed some of those animals. And uh, so there you go. Um, we basically... Um, you know, I bought them and I've been raising this one up. And then, of course, here we go to this little gal right here who's 350 pounds. And she is a donation from the Turtle uh, Survival Alliance. And I did get her from uh, them. So she lives here because I, had, I lived far enough south. I'm a member of the TSA and this animal is just doing well. So she lives with me now. Uh, now, let's see what else we got here. Uh, unfortunately, I missed out on the question, and I apologize, guys. There's a lot going on here. So, uh, you know, there you go. How do I deal with shelling? Well, thankfully, there's no shelling uh, coming in um, here. Uh, I live in a fairly peaceful area. Um, I don't know what you mean by shelling. Uh, what's up, Jesse Robinson? I'm just hanging out. Uh, someone asked, how do I stay in shape? I go to the gym uh, every weekday, and I work outside doing things. So I, I stay in shape that way, and then I eat normal, man. I just eat chicken and rice and greens and, you know, I don't know. Just keep it, keep it normal. Uh, I do have pizza every uh, Friday night, though. I'm never giving up pizza because I'm from Long Island. Uh, how awesome. Uh, Layla Saeed says, how long can a ready slider stay out of water? Uh, well, if they're traveling over land, they can stay out for a few weeks, that's for sure. So, uh, they can stay out for a few weeks when traveling to new ponds, uh, but they're never too far from water. All right. Uh, so there you go, everybody. Uh, what crocodile do I like better? Saltwater crocodile? Nile crocodile. Whoo! That's crazy. Hard question. Probably the salty. They're just so gnarly. But then again, so are the Niles. They're so uh, notorious, those two species, for being man-eaters. Um, but they're awesome. Love them. All right, we're going to say goodbye to the Galapagos tortoises right now. And uh, we're going to wander back on up, finish this video up, answer a few more questions. And uh, there you go. So um, my Hermit's tortoises are on the other side, but the internet won't reach there because I have the Wi-Fi extender here. So uh, there you go. We will have more swimming with videos. Don't you worry, Emilio. They're coming. Kyle's uh, feverishly getting things done at his new place. There you go. Uh, all right, everybody, let's flip it again. And uh, there are those little 
Sulcata tortoises. Remember, guys, if you're interested in ordering a Sulcata, they are $65 plus shipping. Shipping is $75 west of the Mississippi. It is $65 east of the Mississippi, $45 in Florida. And if you're interested, email me at campkennon at gmail.com with Sulcata tortoise in the heading. And I'll give you the instructions on how to order. Uh, very cool, man. These guys are awesome. Natural sunlight, lots of good food. Uh, so they're a lot of fun. Let's look into the pond. It's nice and clear. This is our aquascape pond. Greg, the pond guy, hooked it up. And uh, boy, I'm always over here, guys. I love the pond. It is my favorite place. So much so that I'm going to build more ponds all over the camp. You guys are going to love it. I don't know if you can actually see. Look at that cool Oscar right there. So rad. Uh, you know, someone asked if the monitors have venom. Uh, scientists have been finding out that many species of lizards actually have a mild venom in their saliva. They are closely related to snakes. As you know, they're in the squamata order. Uh, hey, uh, Yosinel Blauta, thank you so much for the donation. Uh, thank you so much for having your students watch. We appreciate it. We we'll always try and give you guys some good information, like the information I was talking about as far as lizards having mild venom. Uh, so what they found out is that uh, the Komodo dragon not only has, you know, definitely uh, infect, uh, infection uh, capabilities with its saliva, they also have an anticoagulating um, property to their saliva, which is kind of a precursor to venom if you think about it. Snake venom is highly specialized. It's basically a digestive enzyme. It's modified saliva. Um, so that's what we're looking at with some lizards too. Uh, if you ever got bit by a monitor, you'd know it because the lacerations would be bad and uh, the secondary infection could be bad as well. All right, everyone, there you have a fun little video we did here live. Uh, just saying hello to Ellie. Uh, my tortoises don't hibernate in the winter. It never doesn't get that cold down here. Uh, thank you so much, Jesse Gupwell, for watching. I do these live videos every single Thursday. I do it as a way to hang out and interact with you guys. Some of you like them, some of you don't. I think the majority of you do. Um, it's just a way for me to kind of hang out and talk to you all. Um, so that's what I did. That's what we're up to. Um, you know, it's funny, the other day I was walking around and I noticed that one of the, one of the pink belly side necks was just living in the bio falls. It's so funny, it was just hanging out right in here. So they get around, they move all over. Oh, look here, here is, oh, I don't know if you guys can see it, I'll go in there. Uh, I put some elongated tortoise in here to keep down the weeds and it's been working like a charm. It's been working almost too well because they ate all my elephant ears, but there's an elongated tortoise right there. That's a great species, guys. For those of you that live in Northern climates or in climates that get a little cooler, even though they're from Southeast Asia, they are found in elevation. So they can take cooler temps. They love the rain. Uh, they're very, very cool. Uh, they, that's as big as they get. That's a female right there. So pretty cool. Uh, do I ever adopt from Turtle Homes Rescue? Many, many years ago. Uh, I believe if that is Lori Green, yes, I have adopted from Lori Green. She used to live in Long Island. I think she lives in Nevada now. I have not heard from her in many, many years but I did get some sulcatas and some other animals. Uh, let's see, someone else just threw up there. Um, I can't, I'm having a hard time saying your name. Uh, Magic N. Argabo. Recently found you've been been watching videos since. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the donation. Thank you for watching the videos. We are always gonna try and get you guys some fun video content um, and just much appreciated, everyone. All right, don't forget, Go on over to my Instagram page and follow along there. I post videos on there all the time, story updates, different photos from around the camp and wherever I'm at. And uh, thank you so much. Please subscribe if you're enjoying the videos, hit the notifications button so you know when I upload. Uh, but if you don't hit the notification, that's fine. Just follow me every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday for the lives. All right, everyone, I'm uh, signing off, okay? We had a good day, my back's hurting. I'm getting out of here. But I'm always happy to talk with you guys for these live shows. Um, animals are happy. Little baby tortoises are tortoising. Uh, yes, I use tortoise as a verb. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. So long. No, really, I'm going. This is it.